I will to show you guys how I come up with my test questions. And let me tell you, I really like to write test questions. It's actually one of my hobbies, I will say. That's something that I always look forward to uh, when I teach a class. Not the grading though, but writing exams. And um, in particular, I love multiple choice questions because I can actually ask about like four or five questions in just one question. So let me show you how I do it. Of course, my students don't like this at all, but like, well, anyway. So, here is the question. I can ask which of the following is true, or which of the following is false, depends on how I like it. And sometimes I can also ask which of the following right, is equal to one. In fact, I just did this with my students yesterday. Yeah, so call to students, this is how I come up with that question, so check this out. Anyway, usually I like to have one general thing for the question. So let's talk about limits for this. And in particular, uh, let's talk about the uh, infinity over infinity in determinant form. So let's go ahead and take the limit as x goes to infinity. And I'm going to do the same for the other ones as well. So it feels like they belong to the same multiple choice question. Because if you say x is approaching infinity, and then this is like x is approaching to one, and this is x approaching zero, people will feel like, oh man, we have three questions now. I don't know, this looks more like one question, but not really. But anyway, limit as x approaching infinity. And I can easily make any multiple choice questions much harder, I would say, by putting down choice E and just say none of the above. Not just because this right here can make the question automatically much harder, but sometimes if I messed up in the answer choices right here, I still have this to back me up. Because for example, if none of this <laughs> equals one because my mistake, then they will just choose E so they cannot complain. But anyway, let's pick two functions to compare with. Again, I want to make this look like a question, right? So for the first one, let's do ln x plus one, like this, and then over x, all right? And then, you know what I like to do? I want to make them look really similar. So for the next one, I'm going to do the reciprocal of this. So x over ln of x plus one. And then for the next one, I'm going to do ln of x plus one over ln x. So two lns for choice C. And then for D, I'm going to do just one ln, but I'm going to put the x plus one and also the x inside. But you see, I have the x plus one on the top right here already, and then x on the bottom, right? So I'm going to put the x and also x plus one right here. And the ln is on the outside. Yep, this is how I come with the questions. And now, of course, let's solve it. So as you can see, if x is going to infinity, on the top is infinity, on the bottom is also going to be infinity, you can also so as you can solve it. You see, when x is approaching infinity, on the top will be infinity, on the bottom will also be infinity. So we can use Laputal's rule. And I'm just going to let you guys work that out. I will just tell you though, ln x is much smaller than x if x goes to infinity. How much smaller? So small, when you divide, you just end up with zero. And if you have the reciprocal version of that, this is going to be so much bigger than that. How much bigger? When you divide, you get infinity. Yeah. And then for C, if you do Laputal's rule, or maybe you can just ignore the one, you see ln x over ln x is just equal to one. So C is the answer. Yeah. And then for D, in fact, you compare this and that, right? You ignore the one, and that's just going to be one inside. But remember, that's inside of the natural log. So in fact, this will be zero. So, the answer for this question is C. Yeah. Nice and quick, if you know what you are doing, I think you will appreciate the little pattern and also like the little flavor and all that things. Uh, but of course, I'm not, one, I'm not the one who's taking the test, so I cannot say that. But um, I enjoy writing the test questions like this. If you guys want to see more, leave a comment down below and let me know. But anyway, that's it.